Hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray and welcome to the device hub. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button to be part of this amazing community. Plus anytime a video is released, you'll be updated instantly. In this video, I'll share with you my top 10 best Android apps of the year. And some of these apps you'll find very helpful in 2020. So without talking so much, let's jump right into it. Boosted is an app that easily helps you to track all your activities. If being productive is something you're really considering in 2020, this app can make it pretty easy. You can start a project and list all the activities you'll perform within that project. Once you start an activity, just click a button to track it and then stop when you're done. The great thing is that Boosted will create a detailed report on your time spent. I usually use it to track how much time I spend shooting a roll or doing a voiceover. Aside being very useful, Boosted is free, has no ads and very intuitive. Castro is an information utility for Android devices. It monitors and reports on hardware and software state on devices in real time. So details such as CPU stats, device temperature, battery details, sensor details, data speed tests, and a whole lot more than you can understand. What honestly sets this app apart from the numerous others is that it is ad free and man, it has a minimal user interface that is super clean. You even have the option of toggling on or off dark mode. As the name suggests, Quotes Widgets is a widget that you can place on the home screen of your Android device. It is free to download, easy to set up and most importantly ad free. The widget can be customized to fit your preference too. You can change the font color of the quote as well as the background of the quote. Once you have the widget installed on your home screen, simply tap to shuffle through different quotes. If you like to maintain a clean home screen like I do, quote widgets is definitely something you should look at. The Microsoft SMS Organizer is the best way to manage your SMS. It is able to organize your messages in a very smart way. It has dark theme support and backs up all your messages to the cloud so that you can restore it onto another device. Now that's awesome. Another feature I'm crazy about is the ability to schedule messages. I see this being very helpful a lot. For example, you can schedule a birthday message to a friend in case you're likely to forget wishing the person. Snap mode is a very interesting screenshot app. It has different mockups of smartphones with which you can place your screenshots in. I found myself to be using it a lot, especially when sharing screenshots of my Android home screen setups. I have a number of videos on Android home screen setups by the way, so make sure to check them out. You'll definitely love my setups. My data manager is an app used to track your data usage. You can input your data bundle and select when it will expire. The app will then calculate how much data you can spend in a day and can alert you when you consume more than what is allocated to you in a day, which is amazing. Also, it gives you stats on the data used by the apps on your device. It is nice that this app has a widget too, so you can easily track and monitor your data from your home screen. Days Counter is an app used to count down days to a special event in your life. You can set the title, date and time to that particular event and even place it as a widget on your home screen. That way you always updated on what's next. The widgets are beautiful, you can add as many countdown widgets you'd like. Only downside though is that you'd have to, you know, make do with some ads popping at you when using the app sometime. But apart from that, you'd love this app. Pixel Loop is a great app used in making cinemagraphs. Now these are still photos with moving parts which look very cool on your Instagram. The app is intuitive and you can add amazing moving clouds to your photos by using a preset in the app. Pixel Loop can export your finished cinemagraph in 1080p and a number of social formats which is very cool. Now if you love tech news a lot, you probably know of Appy Geek, which sadly got taken out from the Play Store. 
a solid alternative to that is GSM Arena. Yes, you'll know them from their popular website, but the good thing is that they have an app now which is awesome. You can read news, you can read reviews, you can read on all your devices and check out detailed specifications. And I mean, it's a very cool app to have. Go check it out today. If you want to expand your knowledge in digital marketing, branding, and online business strategy, a free and good way to start learning that is by using Google Primer. This app has a number of classes on different topics which can really jumpstart your digital career. It has a beautiful design and is very easy to navigate. Try it out today. So there you have it guys, my top 10 best Android apps of 2019. I'm curious though to find out which ones you're going to find interesting. Let me know down in the comment section. If you're new here though, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week.